Mam. Mam usitue. Mam mam nitupe tu hata huko nje. Mtu atakuja atuchukue hata tutesa. Mtoto wangu alinibembeleza kiona kifo. Huyu fast bone amekaa kwa kona. Ananiangalia na niambia mam mimi na usiniache. Mimi uwe. Sasa huyu third bone amejishikilia hivi alikuwa anakula mdomo. Amejishikilia tu hapa na tuangalia lakini second bone hataki kukufa. Niambia mama I told you I want to be musician. Just throw me outside. Someone will take me there. Mom please. Sasa nimeshika kiberiti hivi mkono inatetemeka hivi. Nikashindwa. Inakuwaje watu wangu nguvu? Mimi naitwa presenter Ali, you are entertainment PA. Kwanza nataka niseme asante sana kwa love, kwa support ambayo umeonyesha of late. E bwana, tunazidi kusonga mkiangalia subscribers kama zinaongezeka kama zaidi ya elfu moja kwa siku. And I'm really happy na nasema kwamba asante sana kwa kuwa miongoni mwa wana ambao wana show love na kushow support kwa team eh, presenter Ali. Leo niko na mgeni wangu, she's here to share her story na naomba ujitambulishe. Kwa majina naitwa yeah. Koni Mujal. Uh -huh. uh, natoka umoja. Yeah. I'm a single mother of four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, eh, Koni, eh, you, you told me time uli nitafuta. You told me that you have a story ambayo ungependa kushare. Na this is your time na kuomba ushare your story. Sa mimi uh -huh. uh, nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya nyumba. Yeah. After kufanya kazi ya nyumba nilifanya kazi ya nyumba immediately after class 8 okay i didn't manage to join form 1 yeah so when nilikuja nairobi nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya nyumba mm -hmm. ambapo nilifanya for four good years kwa nyumba moja nyumba moja yeah okay Uyu mama alikuwa mzuri sana mm -hmm. mm. okay mimi sikuwa naenda off mm. so kuna siku moja nilienda off mm. niliamua kuenda off yani alinipea two time niende mm -hmm. off kidogo nikatembe yeah. i think that is the day nilipatana na okay let me say mwenye alimess na maisha yangu okay so after <laughs> after mimi kupatana na huyu mtu kurudi kwa ile nyumba mm -hmm. nilijiona sasa nini, i think nilijiona sasa ni, yes nikiambiwa okay. siambiliki <laughs> nikikatazwa yani naona tu yani huyu mama ananiambia nini hmm? uh. nini unaniambia na pia mimi niko na boyfriend yeah. sasa mimi nika sasa yeye pia kachoka na mimi ule kwa, mama sasa yeah, yeah. yeah. kwa ile karakati ya kuchoka na mimi akaamua kunirudisha ushago juu i've never been nairobi nilikuja kwake mm. sasa venye ali, alienda kanilipia gari town Mimi nikashuka kwa hiyo gari. Mm -hmm. Nikataka kuenda kwa yule boyfriend. Okay. Jo alikuwa alishanipeleka kwake. Mm. Do venye mimi nilishuka kwa hii gari nikaenda kwa nyumba yake alishtuka. Jo akuniambia nikuje, nimefika na manguo zangu. Mi nimefika sasa umejua sasa nimefika huko mimi sasa ni bibi. Mm. Ilibidi sasa anichukue. Alafu umejua I think akwa ready. Yeah. Alaf again I was young I was 18 years old. Okay. And this person was 28 years old. Okay. So me tukaanza kuishi tukakaa tukakaa within 4 months I was pregnant with my first born. Wow. Me mm. nikakaa I gave birth to my first born at the age of 19 years old. Nikaza mm. first born. Hapo ndio madharau ilianza. Okay. Hapo uh -huh. ndio madharau ilianza. Sa huyu mwanaume mwanaume alikuwa ananichusi yani saa zingine anajiblame ana mm -hmm. mimi kukuja kwa maisha yake ndio ilikuwa sasa shida zake zilianzia hapo mara kuna time aliniambianga ati i wish i knew that i would have go to uh, yani ningeenda shule mm -hmm. alafu nikuje nioe msichana kija kazi kama wewe mm -hmm. hmm? Hizo vitu zilikuwa zinafanya self esteem yangu inakuwa chini kabisa na mm. nitusi mi nikaamua kutoka kwa hiyo ndoa nikarudi ushago. Mm. Kwa harakati ya kurudi ushago, remember I don't have parents. I only have my sister there in up country. Mm -hmm. Mi nikaenda huko nika nikamwachia huyu mtoto wangu sasa, huyu mm. first born wangu. By that time my first born was one year. Nikamwachia huyu first born wangu, nikarudi sana Nairobi kutafuta tena kazi ya nyumba sasa. Oh. Kwa hiyo harakati yangu ya kurudi kutafuta kazi ya nyumba tena Hmm. Tena nikapatana na huyu mtu tena. Akaniingiza box, akaniambia sasa tufanye aje, hmm? Nini bla bla bla, mimi nikarudi tena kwa nyumba yake. Hmm. 
Kwa hiyo rakati ya kurudi kwa nyumba yake nikakaa kitu kama 3 months. Boom. Mimba. Mimba ya pili. We. Alafu hii kupata mimba ya pili. Alafu tena umejua mimi hakuna mtu alishawahi niambia ati kuna kwanga na family planning, kuna kwanga yani hakuna oh. mtu ashawahi niongelesha kuhusu yani ukipatana na mwanaume kutakuwa hivi na hivi na hivi nikapata mimba ya pili. Hasa hapo ndio madharau ilikuwa mingi mingi kabisa. Nilikuwa na nichapa. Hmm. I think kuna siku alinichapa. Nilikuwa nimeshukwa lines. Hmm. Za kwenda nyuma hivi. Hmm. Nimetoka nimetoka nilikuwa nafua nafanya kazi ya kufua juu sasa unaona mimi niko class 8 sina mm. job yani hakuna papers hakuna yeah, kazi yeah, naweza fanya yes yeah, yeah. hakuna kazi naweza fanya alafu alikuwa ananitusi ananiambia hakuna kitu na kwa maisha yake hakuna kitu nitawahi fanya kwa maisha yake yani mimi hakuna support sasa mimi nikaona fadhali nifanye kazi ya nyumba sasa anabebana na huyu mwingine mdogo ako Aliku, I think alikuwa around one, one month mm. na mbeba kwa mgongo na nimeshika mkono ya huyu naenda kufulia watu. Sasa unaona sasa tena ukienda kufua hakuna mtu anataka kukupea hiyo job. Unajua uko na watoto wawili. Mm. Sasa kuna siku nimetoka hiyo hiyo job yangu tu ya kufua. Nimewachia huyu mwingine jirani na nikabeba nika huyu. Sasa mimi kufika nilifika kwa nyumba saa mbili. Nilikuwa nimeshuka line saa kwenda nyuma hivi. Alinishika hivi mimi nilisikia kitu warm kwa uso yangu hivi i didn't know that i was bleeding nilikuwa na na bleed i think pole <laughs> pole Nili bleed nikaona mkono yake ameshika ameshika hizo hizo nywele zangu zimebaki kwa mkono yangu hivi na bleed na yeye umnanivua bado anaendelea tu kunipiga alinipiga alinipiga mimi kustukia nikaona niko kipara sina nywele mtoto wangu huyu mwingine mkubwa ana plead na yeye umejua bado hajui kuongea vizuri anamwambia achana na mam achana na mam huyu mwingine analia huku ananipiga ananipiga na what, what, what was the main reason mbona alikuwa anakupiga sababu ilikuwa gani alikuwa ananidharau tu hujawahi kumfanyia chochote Mm-mm. alikuwa ananidharau tu ananitusi yani alikuwa na Alafu tena alikuwa nilikuwa nimempea story yangu mm. kutoka kwetu sasa venye tumeteseka venye nimelelewa sasa alijua I have no where to go. Yeah. Mm. Alikuwa ananidharau tu. Siku hata na kitu nimemfanyia mbaya. Mm. Alikuwa ananipiga tu, ananitusi. Sasa mimi nikaanza kufanya kazi ya kwenda kufanya finishing moja market. Sasa hapo ndio nilirealize kumbe I have a talent ya kushuka. Yeah so after that bado anaendelea tu kunipiga kazi yake ikaisha so after kazi yake kuisha bado mimi sikumwacha so unajua sasa mimi ndio sasa na tulikuwa tunaishi so wetu sasa mimi tulikuwa 500 so kwa hii kazi yangu ya finishing bado nilikuwa naweza kulipa hii nyumba nafanya yeah. analisha watoto nini bla bla lakini bado napigwa mimi ndio nafanya kila kitu kwa nyumba lakini bado ananipiga. Nikipigia anti yangu simu ushago mwenye amenilewa ananiambia nivumilie ndoa. Ndoa ni kuvumilia. Lakini niliona hapa nikiendelea hivi nitaendelea kupigwa mpaka lini. Mimi nikaamua kutoka. Sasa after nilitoka nilitoka na watu wangu wawili, my first born and my second born. Sasa mimi nikaenda nikakaa kidogo kidogo. Huyu first born wangu kuna siku tulikuwa tunaenda huko salon sasa. Sumejua mimi singekuwa na uwezo ya kubaya huyu mtoto ball. Sasa tulikuwa tunaenda salon akaokota kampira ingine ya black ya majuala. Nikachapa mkono yake hivi. Alafu hiyo wakati nilikuwa na hasira na huyu mtoto nilikuwa nampiga kitu kidogo tu hivi nampiga. Sasa tukaenda job. Sasa hizo nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya commission. So, bado 
bado sasa ushachana na yeye nishachana na yeye sasa okay, yeah, naishi yeah. nao wawili yeah. sasa kurudi sasa zile tunarudi home tena huyu mtoto akawacha mkono yangu hivi akaokota hii mpira kufika kwa nyumba ndio nianze kuosha huyu mwingine mtoto akaingia sio najua tu kawaida boys mm. sasa kwa hii harakati ya kutaka kujua ni nini kwa kwa hii mpira guess what it was 40000 kenya shillings wow mimi nikaona mtoto amenipita mbio umejua tulilala njaa yeah. sasa ndio nimetoka job at least nimepata 250 amenipita mbio ameenda kwa duka sasa mwenye duka akakuja na kijiji watu wanajuana mm. mwenye duka akamshika hivi akasema huyu si ni junior kamshika hivi akamuuliza mtoto hapi thao mm. sasa mtoto wangu kukuja akamwambia so kwa 40000 alichukua thao alichukua tu thao ajui kama ni thao mm na sijui kama ni forti ajui mm. yani anajua tu pesa mm. but ajui kama ni pesa ngapi mm. sasa akakuja akanikauliza aka, aka, umetuma mtoto kwa duka na thao yote nikamwambia thao nimetoa wapi mimi natoa thao wapi mtoto amebeba thao ali kuingia kwa nyumba nilipata mtoto ametapaka pesa everywhere i think before before hiyo mtoto aokote hii pesa tukienda home nilipata nanga na mubiri mwingine mchafu kabisa mm. akaniambia you are going to open a salon in the next two weeks sasa mimi nikajiuliza huyu mtu ananiambia nini mm. nitafungua salon in the next two weeks mimi niko na nini nikanjiambia hawa ndio wale watu wanaombianga watu wanadanganyanga tu watu wanawaibia e, wanawaibia mimi nika assume kumbe this is the second week that ule mtu alikuwa anaongelelea mm. tena ndio nikakuja kukumbuka ha kukumbuka ama nilisave namba ya huyu mtu sikupata yani nilimdharau tu mimi nikapita mm. kaka chini nikajiuliza what what will i do with this money ndio nikaenda sasa kutafuta sasa nyumba huko salon mm. kwenda kuambia huyu mwenye nilikuwa anafanya kazi kwake nikamwambia umejua nataka kufungua salon wali cheka alafu umejua yani nilikwanga nilikwanga na trousers ngapi yale tatu tatu hizo trousers na ni za jeans na kama nimeivaa kitembea kitembea kidogo napata hapa pazip imegeuka ikakuwa hapa yani sina kiuno ya kuishika mm. nimekonda nimeisha nilikuanga 45 kg nimekonda kabisa i think nilikuwa na stress na struggle alafu tena nilikuwa nashinda tu na naiuliza Mungu why 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 mm. sasa mimi nikaenda nikafungua salon maisha ikaanza kukuwa mzuri sasa nikapeleka huyu first born shule sasa mwingine akuwa ametosha kuenda shule kidogo kidogo ali nikapatana na from yani i think from fire to hot soup mm-hmm. nikapatana na mwanaume sasa mm-hmm. sasa kwa kupatana na huyu mwanaume i think i have those messages nitakuonyesha mm-hmm. hizo messages mm-hmm. the first introduction ali nilikumwambia niko na watoto wawili na akaniambia mimi nimekupenda na watoto wako wawili sina shida na watoto By the way by that time alikuwa mzuri tu anapenda hao watoto tukaanza relationship alafu guess sijawahi ambiwa the word i love you i've never experienced the word i love you sijawahi itwa babe sijawahi ambiwa love huyu mm-hmm. uh, mtu alikuwa ananiambia hizo vitu zote nikaona wow huyu ndio mwenyewe huyu ndio mwenyewe yeah. alikuwa ananipenda anani yani ananipeleka out yani yani anani anani, anani treat mm. vizuri venye mtu anafaa kutritiwa mm kidogo kidogo tukakaa 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 kitu kama six months hivi nikapata boli yake sasa tukaanza kuishi sasa nikapata boli yake sasa boli ya my third born mm. sasa tukakaa tukakaa venye mimba ilifika five months mwanaume akaniambia so najua nini babe nataka utafute mahali pa kupeleka au watoto wako wawili ndio tuishi kai kajiuliza sasa aje hati suwapeleka kwa baba yao nikamuuliza sasa aje nitawapeleka kwa baba yao aje na baba yao alirudi ushago hati mimi sitaishi na wewe na watoto na ujue niko serious sasa hizo niko na mimba nikamwambia sasa tutafanya aje akaniambia wewe kama utaki itabidi utoe huyu mtoto <laughs> mwana mimi mwenyewe alikuwa na kazi Alikuwa na job, okay. alikuwa na kazi pia mimi niko na kazi, tunasapotiana tu vizuri, mimi nalipa school fee watoto wangu, yani nam support, tutasapotiana tu kwa nyumba. Mm. Akaniambia utaenda kufanya abortion. 
I think that one was the only option. Siku, yani nilikaanza kushare na watu, sasa nauliza watu advice. Watu wengi walikuwa wananiambia nifanye hivyo. Cuz alikuwa ananiambia huyu tena atakuacha na atakuacha na watoto watatu sasa. Mm. Utafanya nini? Mimi nikaenda hiyo hosi sita sema jina ya hiyo hosi. Mm. Tukaenda na yeye akalipa. Kulipa daktari akani akaniambia venye watafanya hiyo abortion waka waka nika nikapelekwa saa huko ndani guess that one was first kick ya mtoto wangu kwa tumbo that day that day mtoto wangu ali kick nikamwambia daktari you know what i'm not going to do this mtoto wangu ame kick akaniambia na umeshalipa saa utafanya nikamwambia mimi nime change mind akaniambia pesa warudishange mi nikatoka nikaenda hapo nje nikapata huyu jamaa alikuwa amekaa hapa nje na ningoja mi nikamwambia nime change mind sifanyie abortion nikaniambia wewe kama ufanyie abortion it is upon you ni wewe na watoto wako utateke tukaendelea kuishi tukaendelea kuishi alafu tena oh, aku kuacha aku niacha but sasa mateso ikaanzia hapo sasa mm ana unaona sasa akinioa huyu huyu third born akuwa anajua kama yeye si babake akaanza kuniambia mtu akimuita anamwambia usiwahi niita dadi mimi si baba yako sasa umjua watoto wanaanza kuniuliza mama kwa nini dadi anasema tusimuite dadi huyu mwingine pia first born pia sasa huyu first born ndio sasa ndiye anakuwa na mistreat vibaya mpaka niandikia message i have those messages ananiambia venye nitaua huyu mtoto wako I hate this kid. I hate your kids. Mm, tafuta mali unapeleka hawa watoto. Nikaona tukaachana. Nikamwacha. Kaka kaka nikaka kaka tena tukarudiana. Kurudiana ya pili atukukaa hata one month kaisha. Hata one month hivi hali haikuisha. Tulikaa kitu kama three weeks. Umejua amenitoa mali nilikuwa naishi nikahamisha vitu nikawacha rent huko na deposit nikakuja huku kwake si kumaliza one month the third week mtoto wangu mvua ilikuwa imenyesha mtoto akajitumbukiza kwa mtaro unaona sasa mwenye mtoto anatoka shule akajitumbukiza kwa mtaro mpaka watu wa pikipiki ndio walimuinua huko kwa mtaro sasa hata wao watu wange mutoa angezamia huko angekufa jua alikuwa ameingia huko yote i think mpaka alikunywa hizo maji za mtaro hmm. sasa mtoto kufika kwa nyumba alimpiga alimpiga mpaka unaona hii mkono ya mtoto wangu hivi mm. ilikuwa imefura sasa akamwambia vae sweta sasa huyu huyu second born nikifika kwa nyumba ananiambia nikaenda kuanika manguo nje ati mama naweza enda kuanika na wewe manguo nje namwambia kaa hapo kwa nyumba kumbe alikuwa anataka kuniambia kenye huyu brother yake amefanyiwa brother yake naye amebaiwa vitu na akambiwa asise asiseme mimi nika, nikakuwa mkali kwa mtoto nikamwambia kuna kuna mvua inanyesha ni nini unataka mtoto akaenda kaka kwa kona nyingine akaanza kulia alilia 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 nikamuuliza ni nini kaniambia mamu wewe sasa sasa tazili tunaenda kwa duka sasa ati mamu wewe dadi anatutesanga na wewe tukitaka kukuambia unakuwa mkali nikamwambia ni nini ati amechapa juni ajuni mkono yake hapa imefura hivi na ameambiwa vai sweta sitoe sweta sasa mimi kurudi kupata mtoto mkono imefura hivyo mpaka ilikuwa ina yani asijua alichapa na nini hapa yote ilikuwa imenini hivi akakuwa mkali akaniambia akachukua vitu zangu akarusha na, na balcony akaniambia beba hizi takataka zako toke nayo hapa nje mimi nikachukua watoto wangu nikatoka sasa nikajiuliza sasa nitaenda wapi nikakaa na watoto hapo nje nikapigia customer wangu mwingine simu akanitumia 15k juu tulikwanga naye kwa chama mm. akaniambia wewe ukipata chama mimi nitakata pesa zako juu mimi nilikuwa nakula next tukatoka nikatoka nikaenda kuhamisha kutafuta nyumba nyingine. Ujue hii ni kurudiana mara ngapi? Ya pili. Ya pili. Bado tuna tumewachana lakini bado naendanga kwake yeye anakuja kwangu. Naenda kwake yeye anakuja kwangu. After kukufukuza bado. After kunifukuza. We? Bado naendanga kwake yeye anakuja kwangu. Naenda kwake yeye anakuja kwangu. Sasa venye corona ili, 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 ilianza hmm. Maisha ikakuwa ngumu sasa unajua sasa kwa salon watu wakuji sana. Sasa ikabidi sasa ni depend kwa kwake. Kwa 
sasa naenda kwake na yeye pia nataka turudiane sasa mimi nikakanyagia nikasema si tusirudiane sasa hizi wewe lea tu mtoto wako by that time i only had three, three kids, kids yeah. wewe lea tu mtoto wako na utupee support yaka niambia mimi nitafanya hivi mimi sitalipa nyumba mbili wewe fanya hivi nipatie mtoto wangu wewe ubaki na watoto wako mimi nikakaa chini nikajiuliza sasa nitafanya aje nitampea mtoto wake aje mm. na mimi sifanya nifanye nini nibaki na wangu aje mm. sasa nika nika nini nikampeanga nikamwambia nika, nika sasa afanye nini akuja chukue huyu mtoto wake sasa ali i love my kids akachukuanga huyu mtoto wake hata siku lala hata siku kaa kitu kama three days nikaamua tena tu turudiane tu. Ju sasa sina otherwise job I work. Yaani salon customers hawakuji. Corona ikikuja sasa watu walikuwa naogopa. Watu wakuji kwa salon. Mm. Sasa nikaamua tu turudiane. Sasa wenye tulirudiana nilikuwa natumia certain family planning mm. nikafanywa kwa chemist. Do huyu mtu ni kama alinipea dawa yenye me. imesha expire sijui. Sasa kwa kwa hii harakati ya kurudiana kumbe niko na boli ya nyingine ya nne yake bado yake bado sasa venye nilimwambia niko na boli ya nne ujue tumesharudiana hiyo siku nyenye nilimwambia niko na boli ya nne aliniambia wewe fanya hivi hiyo ni yako mimi sitaki mtoto mwingine huyo ni ya ni yako mimi nikakaa nikajiuliza sasa nitafanya nini akatoka akatuacha aka tena sasa afta ametuacha ametama tena sasa hizi umejua niko na my first born my second born my third born na niko na mimba ya, ya nne sasa nikakaka nikakaka nikajiuliza maswali mingi 1 2 nikaenda nikatafuta sasa yule daktari sasa vizuri yule wa abosho mm kaenda kwa hiyo hosi the same same hospital nikaambiwa hiyo hosi jina yangu iko huko na wawezi hawawezi nikubali tena unakubaliwa tu once jina yangu iko huko so unajua ile nilienda ya kwanza mmm amen nikakuja nikatafuta daktari si tu kwa kijiji kijiji tu huko mmm daktari alinipea dawa ya kufanya abortion mmm nilimeza hiyo dawa usiku saa mbili by saa sita i was dying tumbo ilikuwa ina yani vitu zinageuka tu kwa tumbo hivi alafu nikakosa nguvu nikakosa nguvu nika yani mtoto wangu yu mwingine wa, wa kwanza akakuja akaniuliza mama ni nini juu mmoja sasa nilikuwa na scroll tu hivi kwa tumbo hivi nimeshikilia tumbo hivi tumbo inaniuma siwezi tembea siwezi lala yani Ushaiona kifo ndio huyu umeona kifo ndio huyu unakufa. Mimi nikakaa nika nikalala ni, ni, ni tu hapo mali nilikuwa nimelala nikapigia customer wangu mwingine simu okay my customers wenye ndio wamekuwa wa, na mimi kwa hii jani yote. Mm. Nikakaa nikapigia huyo customer wangu simu wakakuja na bwanake kaniambia kwa nini umetuchosha? Wewe tunakotazanga na huyu mtu bado unarudiana tu na yeye akishakupatia shida ni mimi na nipiganga simu. Mi nikatoka. Wakanibeba wakanipeleka mama Lucy. Kunipeleka mama Lucy walipata kama huyu mimba bado ilikuwa kitu kama 2 to 3 months hapa. Mm. Walipata kama mtoto hajaaffectiwa aja sana. Wakanipatia tu madawa dho siku waambia nilikuwa nafanya abortion. Oh. But huyu mama alijita daktari mwingine akamwambia ukweli kaniambia tutamsaidia Sasa kukuja kwa nyumba afta kutoka huko nika kesho yake sasa nikaenda petrol station Ali I wanted to finish me plus my kids Nikaenda petrol station nikanunua nikanunua petrol nikanunua mafuta hapo tu mtindo hapo hapo si dimple supermarket mm. kuna ka petrol station nyingine hapo nikanua mafuta nikakuja nikaingia kwa jikoni nikaimwaga nikaandika message nikaweka facebook hiyo message bado iko kwa facebook hadi wale nikaweka hiyo message facebook nikapeana namba ya caretaker nikapeana namba ya auntie yangu 
nikawaambia that mali nimefika i want to die i can't leave my kids in this world na nikawaambia watoto i want to finish you and i finish myself so kwa hii harakati huyu huyu mtoto wangu second born alikuwa ananiambia mam mam usitue mam mam nitupe tu hata huko nje mtu atakuja atuchukue hata tutesa mtoto wangu alinibembeleza kiona kifo huyu first born ameka kwa kona ananiangalia ananiambia mam mimi na usiniache mimi uwe Mbona tena naishi na mtoto wa sister yangu pia yeye naye ni mpole ya unge yangu. Mika kwa kona hapo. Sasa huyu third born amejishikilia hivi alikuwa anakula mdomo. Najishikilia tu hivi na tuangalia lakini second born hataki kukufa. Niambia mama I told you I want to be musician. Just throw me outside. Someone will take me there. Mom please ndio nimeshika kiberiti hivi mkono inatetemeka hivi nikashindwa mtu akapiga simu akapigia kayateka kwa ile namba yenye niliweka hapo mlango nimefunga kayataka akakuja akanibembeleza akaniambia tafadhali fungua tu mlango mimi nikafungua mlango afuta kufungua mlango mtoto wangu alitoka mbio achaki kuniona Nani ambia sitaki mama yangu ataniua. Sitaki kukana huyu mama hayataniua. <laughs> Sasa hizo napigia yule yule baba yao simu ananiambia. Hata nilikuwa na ngoja nipigiwe simu niambie umekufa. What? Juwewe ukiwa sitaoa bibi mwingine utanisumbua. Sasa hiyo ndio ile ni uwa zaidi. Nikawachukua nikabarusha nje. Nikashifungia tena kwa nyumba so I wanted to. Sasa kama mimi ndio namzuia kuoa siari ni kufe habaki aho. Kumbe huyu kayateka kwa hiyo nyumba yetu. Kulikuwa na na nini na kadrisha ingine hapa kakubwa sikuwa najua kama hiyo drisha ni kubwa akapiganisha hapa na akapiganisha huku na akaingia ndani. Sasa kuingia ndani nilikuwa na koroga ka tumadawa tu nataka tu kunywa. Kanishikilia hivi. Nikamshinda na nguvu akaanza kupiga nduru. Kataka kupiga nduru watu wakakuja nikashikwa. Wakaniongelesha kwanza wengine walikuwa wanasema nipelekwe police station. Mama mwingine hapo akasema hapana. Kiona mama nataka kujiua na nataka kujiua na watoto wake mama kuna depression. Mtafutie ni counselor. Sorry. <coughs> Mtafutie ni counselor kanitafutia kanzola kunitafutia kanzola huyu mama kaniongelesha kaniongelesha huyu huyu bwanangu akaongeleshwa akapigiwa simu akaongeleshwa akasema i'm sorry for what i did tukasamehiana akasema atawai rudia hivyo tena hata yeye ajui ni nini namsumbuanga hata wai pata bibi kama mimi kaniambia baby you know how much i love you sitawahi pata mtu kama wewe nime accept our watoto kaanza kuishi tena vizuri tukarudiana tukarudiana tena nimejua ali nilikuwa na ball oh yeah niko yeah. na ball niko na watoto wengine mm. kazi pia imekuwa down kuna lockdown nini tukarudiana nikapata alikuwa mzuri wenye tuliana sasa ya nne alikuwa mzuri ananititu vizuri nikazaa kumbe huyu mtoto wangu amekuwa ki Saturday na Sunday huyu aenda ngi job na umejua mimi niko busy kwa salon mm. kumbe huyu mtoto ndiye amekuwa akimalizia sera zake sasa huyu my first born ule wa kwanza yule ule wa yeah. kwanza yeah. sasa mtoto ikafika time akiwa shule 
nili sasa ikabidi sasa ni watoe sasa private school nikapeleka public school nika mwalimu akanipigia simu akaniambia mama Aidan yes naweza kuja shule nikamwambia eh kaniambia mtoto wako anakwanga kierere so unajua mm. but of late we've noticed um mtoto akikaa kwa kona ataki kelele hata mtu akikuja kumuuliza maswali ukimuuliza mara ya pili ya tatu ana scream sasa wakaniuliza ni nini naendelea kwa nyumba yenu yenye mtoto yanaweza kuwa anaenda through mimi nikamchukua nikampeleka kwa certain hotel open up mm. alishindwa kuongea sasa zile na muongeleza analia mm. sasa nikaenda nikaambia teacher wanisaidie wakatafutia mtoto kansala mtoto akakansaliwa kesi wote ali mtoto mm-hmm. ali open up mtoto mm. alisema ati babake humo ati babake ana baingi cha vitu mm-hmm. anapatia huyu mtoto wake huyu my third born third born yeah. yes na wao wapatia mm. nawaambia wao ni watu wakubwa na mjua watoto hawaelewi kama wao ni watu wakubwa mm. alafu mm. tena anawaambia nga you are the reason why i have been leaving your mom and i will leave your mom again alafu mjua mtoto wangu ananipenda yeah. sasa akisikia hiyo sasa is the reason ataki yani yani ataki kuniambia jua najua akiniambia nitamwacha huyo mtu na tena nikimwacha alafu umejua time tumeachana watoto wana realizing unakwanga na stress na shinda nimejifungulia kwa bedroom na lia sasa mtoto ataki kuniambia sasa kitu ile ni hard zaidi this person ali accept ali admit ati i've been telling you are kids those things and you are the reason how many times have i begged you to do away with these kids so that we can stay akaniambia niko na hasira na watoto ni venye ujui hiyo sasa ni tuko august hiyo sasa ni july mm. i i talked to myself last month last month yeah i called myself in a meeting This is a meeting me and me. Yeah. I'm talking to myself and I ask God so many question. Yeah. I ask God, God, you know the reason why you gave me these kids. And uh, again, unajua vizuri mimi sikuwa na uwezo ya kulea hao watoto na tena ukanipatia kazi ya mikono yangu. Hmm? Though sasa hizi kazi iko chini, but nikajiongelesha nikaambia Mungu will this child die because of love or because of marriage so i talk to myself i told god that i'll not do it anymore do it anymore and i promise god that nikirudiana na huyu mtu tena mungu ni punish last month sasa mm. tare mbili sasa unaona sasa before sasa nitoke sasa yeah alikuwa ame, ame, ameshika nimetoka job sasa on Sunday akaanza kuwa mad kwa nyumba anajigonganisha hivi jamaa mwenyewe eh anajipiganisha ati oh. watoto wangu wanamwaibisha ati hata akipatana na mtu kwa njia hata wezangi leta mtu kwa nyumba ati why did i marry this woman anajipiga anagonga ukuta yani ana, yani amekuwa mad sasa huyu huyu third born huyu third born wake mpaka akachukua kisu wali mm. anataka kujiua i begged nikambembeleza nikamwambia i'm sorry kwa kuingia kwa maisha yako i'm sorry akaniambia ati i wish ungejua venye nimekusaidia kukuchukua na watoto and remember my first husband told me that nimekusaidia Huyu pia ananiambia amenisaidia. Mimi nikasema ah Wacha nitoke. Before nitoke sasa huyu mtoto akaenda shule. Huyu my my third born akaenda shule. Kifika jioni sana nataka kurudi akaambia mwalimu wake mimi sirudi kwa nyumba. My parents are very mad. Guess who mtoto yako 3 years 7 months kambia teacher my especially my dad is very mad i'm not going there
Ali, I think. Ni meri un maisha wa toto angu. Ni likuwa nataka tu yani mtu mnyani na zani ambia yani someone to tell me that it is not my fault. I was in love. Wewe mwingine kuna depression na jiongelesha. Wewe mwingine mdogo, huyu third born ndio wewe nimeanza kumuingiza vitu kwa akili, ameshajua kisu ni nini. Mnaona hizi vitu wanafanya kama watoto wanaona. Hata yeye shangekuwa ananiita tu. Anakuongelesha. Niongelesha hata kama anani fight. Yeah. Sini fight mbele ya watoto. Huyu mwingine, huyu mwingine second born sasa sijui kama yeye pia ako na shida inamsumbua do yeye ananyamaza sana. Siku hizi ananyamaza tu sana but hako ananyamaza hivyo. Ananyamaza sana. But huyu third born naye ananiambia aliniambia mam. Tutoroke. Are you are you still living with the man? No. Okay. okay. Nilitoka. Yeah. But asichipenda mbali sana juu sikuwa na na pesa ya kulipa nyumba nilikuwa nimeongea tu na landlord sasa yeah. nikaambia landlord vitu zenye naenda through landlord akaniambia ako na plot nyingine hapo next yeah. sasa hapo ndio alinipea juu sikuwa na pesa ya kutafuta nyumba nyingine rent plus deposit yeah. do bado tunaishi naye karibu yeah. but siishi na yeye so ulienda na watoto wako wote wanne Nilibeba na, nilienda na watu wangu wote wanne. Mm-hmm. Sasa after kuenda na watu wangu wote wanne, sio unajua tu maisha. Yeah. Maisha nikaona sasa maisha yamenilemea. Nikaona sasa ni bebe au wengine wawili nimrudishie. Yeah. Sasa sasa hiyo ndio kitu sasa ile affect sasa my, my second born. Nilikuwa ananiambia kila siku. Sasa mjua nilimpelekea kama leo. Sasa wakalala huko. Huyo th- third born na, na fourth born. Nika postingi kwa certain group Facebook inaitwa My New Born and Beyond. I ask I ask for a, a sober advice. I think when watu alini advice ndio ilinipea courage ya ku kuenda ku kuchukua watoto. Yeah. Nikawachukua. Nikakuja na wao sasa wengine wa, na mwingine hapo alinitumia do. Alinitumia si mjui. Mm. Alinitumia tu juu sasa after siku hide identity yangu. Yeah. Sasa after ku post wengine wakaingia kwa profile picture yangu. Alafu yeah. kwa profile picture yangu kwa Facebook page nini yangu nimeweka picha za salon na namba yangu ya simu. Mm. Kapata mwingine alinitumia 5k akaniambia ndio bai watoto sasa hapa. Yeah. So umejua nilibidi ni call back akaniambia niliona story yako venye ulipigia watu kwa Facebook na nilikuwa touched na hiyo ndio niko nayo ndio bai watoto sasa hapa. Kaenda nikafanya shopping kajaza kwa nyumba i think hiyo ilinipea moral tena yeah, ya yeah. ya kuishi sasa yeah. guys kutoka hiyo siku yeah. yani sijaifikiria tena ku kurudiana na yeye kurudiana na yeye ama kugawa watoto yeah yeah na kupata mm. yeah and of course uh, as a single mom ambaye sasa hivi unaishi na watoto wako mm-hmm. you've decided to open a youtube channel mm. to talk about the struggles of the yes, single YouTube women channel, yeah. uh, to talk about relationships mm. uh, how has how has the journey been so far uh siwezi sema jani imekuwa mbaya ama mzuri because uh-huh. um, size inategemea salon yeah yeah cuz my youtube channel bado ija ija grow vizuri, ija grow vizuri uh-huh. though inaendelea slowly slowly but mm-hmm. uh, according to my clients yeah wow they love it i i love my clients they are so supportive yani kila time unashtukia koni mambo poa nimekurushia hapo kathao koni nimekurushia 500 yani my clients are like my sisters wow. they have been supporting me yani may god bless them that's amazing yes i that's have a, yani yani clients wangu aki wherever you are my yeah. clients mm-hmm. just know that conis the i love you guys you have been supporting me yeah i i, I really wish you all the best kwenye mm. channel yako mm. uh, towards your journey 
feel free to share your your stories mm. to mepitia mm. you know advise other people who might be going through the same mm. through your channel mm. and i'm sure it's going to grow mm. na kama kawaida kwa channel yangu baada ya kufanya mtu interview mm. akiwa na youtube channel huwa naiweka kwenye link mm. eh, naiweka kwenye comment section na naambia watu wangu nguvu eh, mwingie pale show some love kwa koni support him subscribe to her channel na muonyeshe kwamba eh, team presenter ali ni team ya watu wa nguvu mm. nitaweka link pale ambao watapenda content yako wataingia pale ambao watapenda story yako wataingia pale wa show love wa show support kama uko na maneno ya mwisho naomba utuambie kitu mimi kwa maneno yangu ya mwisho mm. to my kids mm -hmm. especially to my first born yeah. i just want to, you to know that i love you with all my heart and i'll always be there i will never ever allow any man to aingie kwa maisha yetu I'll take care of your kids and to any other lady outside there. Please 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 through my story. Just who can love your kids. Kuliko mtu yoyote, hakuna mtu anaweza penda watoto wako venye unawapenda. And before you get married again or you married to someone if you have a child or kids, think twice. Okay. Thank you very much Koni. Uh, mimi nakutakia kila laheri kwenye safari, safari yako ya content creation, kwenye mm. safari yako ya malezi mm. na katika tu jumla kwa maisha yako. I wish you the very best. Mm. Anyway, mpenzi mtazamaji, leo tumekuwa na Koni Mujal. Story yake is very touching na unaweza kuingia kwa channel yake. She shared her stories. I'm a share story ya mtoto wake the way she, uh, he's battling depression and many other things ambazo I'm sure utazipenda ukiona channel yake. Mimi naitwa presenter Ali, uh, your entertainment PA big shout out kwa mwanangu nguvu yupo behind the camera anaitwa Henry Frank and I will see you in the next video.